A service dog and its handlers spend just about every minute of their day together, so it's important to make sure they have a special connection. And tonight's Dog Tags Report, News 8 Steve Price updates us on Buddy and his quest to find the right partner. And I'm glad you guys are sitting down yes. because I have some very big news. Oh, no. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Buddy has started dating. <laughs> uh, okay, he hasn't found that perfect match yet, but as we learned tonight from a few success stories, he's gonna know when it happens. You're gonna help save a life, my friend. Buddy is still looking for that perfect match. It's a really spectacular and special process. Graham Bloom affectionately calls it speed dating. The matching process is organic, but fairly quick. Buddy, touch, good boy. Buddy is well on his way to becoming a service dog for a veteran suffering from PTSD. And even though he's ridiculously cute. Center. Good boy. And aims to please, Buddy's not perfect for everyone. It's lifestyle and personal needs. Um, it's maybe life experience, a similar dog from their upbringing or a family member's dog that reminds them of something positive. We hear that a lot. He definitely brightens up you know, the worst of days. Joseph Boring will never forget the first time he met Cheeto. He came over, he starts licking my face. But that wasn't Joseph's first day of speed dating. In fact, he met several dogs before Cheeto. So the first one was just uh, really energetic, just really excited. Uh, too high energy for me where I'm like, hey, look, I, I know my limits. Joseph also met Bash, who may look familiar because we featured him and his veteran Adam a couple of months ago when he shared their love at first sight story. Hopped up on the couch and then snuggled his way underneath the arm and just kind of flipped over and just like looked up. And I was like, him right here, it's, it's gonna be this dog. Good boy. Joseph had a similar experience oh with Cheeto. He could tell this wasn't just a dog going through the motions of a daily job. Okay, I'm passionate about being here with you. Don't care about anything else, I'm just here with you. I'm like, hey, that's perfect. Cheeto entered Joseph's life at the perfect time. You see, in 2010, Joseph was an air traffic controller for the Marine Corps in Afghanistan, where he was constantly a target. Being air traffic control, you're the highest obstacle on on most of the bases. Joseph returned home with a knee injury and got the physical treatment he needed, but he hid the emotional pain that was tearing him up inside. And I just kept isolating more and more of, hey, I'll, I'll interact when I have to, but I minimize how much I'm around other people. Eventually, Joseph found Shelter to Soldier. The nonprofit pairs shelter dogs with veterans in need, saving two lives. Biggest thing is just waking up every morning next to him and having him there look at my face saying hey dad let's let's get the day started buddy block buddy has already gone on a few dates and even though there hasn't been a match yet graham's not discouraged in joseph's case with cheeto he needed a tall strong robust dog to help with balance support buddy's not going to be much of a help in that category right but Buddy will be great for a veteran dealing with stress, nightmares, and security issues in public. He hasn't found that perfect fit yet, but Graham knows it will happen, and probably pretty soon. I'll be on a drive home and thinking about, gosh, this, this dog's gonna change this person's life. And it's, it's necessary and really special. Huh, Buddy? You're gonna change somebody's life. Uh, it's going to change someone's life for the better. And if you'd like to learn more about Shelter to Soldier or you want to donate to the program, we have a link on our website. Just go to CBS8.com and click on the hot button. And I'll tell you, thanks to very generous News 8 viewers who have been watching the story. They've actually raised enough money to get a couple of more dogs. So that's, that's super fantastic. cool. And the program is really expanding out since they've started. I love We can keep telling these stories then because I know. everybody I loves them. i got to say, though, as far as the time frame, though, there is somebody out there for everybody, but what happens when they do make that love connection? Do they go home they, right they, away? They or? don't, not right away. So okay. they still have to do a lot of training together, yeah. and it could take a good six months of working together before they're ready for that perfect So situation. the soldier's so part of the program too, Absolutely. not just the recipient. Yeah. Okay. okay, that I didn't know. All right. Good there stuff. You go. Thanks, Steve.